It is Fisher Friday. Bob's here, no, Bob. No, it's not. Yes, it is. it is. It is a Fisher Friday, Bob. Believe it or not. I don't believe it. Oh. Well, uh, Bob Fisher, esteemed news director, uh, joins us each and wow. every... Uh, using those big words there. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to be using more big words later on, Bob. Oh, we are. Yeah, coming up after nine, I'm going to quiz you on the most commonly misspelled words and nice. see if you... Here's the grammar Nazi in the building. Yes. The spelling Nazi in the building. Yeah, if, if there was if there was a, a thing where, like, uh, you know, aliens attack and, um, you know, unless you spell this word right, we're blowing up Earth, I'd rather have you than me tasked with that. All right. Yeah. Be a weird whatever, situation. Whatever the heck that means. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Bob, I heard uh, on the news, uh, the award-winning news uh, the other day, that texting is now going to be even more illegal, Well, possibly. Yeah, yeah, you better use the word possibly because this bill uh, passed the Senate, mm -hmm. but uh, who knows what will happen over in the House. I mean, we know, how the, we know how the legislative session is uh, taking place this year with a lot of stuff. So. Um, so right now, if you're under 18, illegal to be texting. It is texting. illegal at all, yeah. yeah you have a phone in your hand. And if you're over, uh, it can be like added on as a thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of. You really have to be really caught in the act. And so this this would make it so you can get just straight up pulled over for having the yes, phone in your hand. I okay. So. And it was what a hundred dollar fine is what they had proposed. Yes. I think that's not going to be enough to stop people from messing around on their it phone. Won't be. I don't. I think you need to be more drastic. More drastic with your punishment. What, are we going to go draconian and well, yeah, cut no, arms off? Or? No, not arms. Thumbs. Okay. And not cut off, but just like, you know, bruise. But take a hammer to it and put it out of place for a while? Or yeah, what? like, uh, have you ever seen the movie Casino? You know, when they catch the guy cheating, bring him in the back room? Yeah, I've, I've seen that. There's other parts of the movie in Casino where things are a little bit more drastic and, and what not stuff. I mean, not, I'm not full Joe Pesci on the situation, but like 50% Joe Pesci. Now, would that be cruel and unusual punishment? I mean, if you know the drill, if you know the deal, you'd have to put up uh, signs at every entrance to every street that says, if you're using your phone while you are driving, your thumbs are at risk. Like, if people know the risk and still choose okay. to break the law, but I'm just saying, like, 100 bucks, that's not going to stop people. The threat of their thumbs being incapacitated, that's going to stop people. Well, Joe's... Uh Ramping up here for his legislative campaign, obviously here soon. So now watch, watch them, watch them get wind of this. Put that in there, and uh, everybody will be like, Pfft. "See, they don't have." To I'm go, all in now, but they yeah. don't have to go back to the Senate, and who knows what they would do. So, <laughs> just the thought. Don't don't text and drive. Right. Don't, don't just don't do that. Uh, Bob, coming up, say it or sing it. Yeah. Okay. And, Who's going first? Uh, you're going to guess first. All right. You're going to guess first. Your question is, or your category is hot, hot, hot. Okay. Ah, the top Buster Poindexter songs of all time. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Sanders sing it's coming up. <laughs> we're saying, we're singing, we're doing it all right here on Fisher Friday on the Joe Show. All right. Sanders sing it time, Bob. Uh, we've got uh, a game show where the winner wins, the loser sings. We have a category. There are 10 acceptable answers in each category. We take turns. That's how the game is played. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock to answer. Bob, your category, hot, yes. hot, hot. What do you think it is? Spicy foods. Ooh, that's very intuitive. Not right, but very okay. intuitive. Thank you. Um, stuff that can burn you. Stuff like that can burn you. Objects, items, uh, situations. That can burn you. That can burn you. 30 seconds on the clock, go. How about the sun? How about hot water? How about a uh, pan or a kettle or anything that's been on the stove, frying pan or a pot or a kettle or whatever. Uh, how about a uh, hot engine? How about uh, uh, acid could burn you? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, uh, lights. Um, I'm obviously time. missing some. Time. time runs out. Wait, lights. Explain that answer. Uh, like if you're in a uh, suntan booth? bed, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I can Thank see you. that. I can see that. Uh, you got three. You got three. What did so, I get? You got sun. Yeah, very good, right there. 
Uh, iron. I gave you iron. Sure, thanks. Um, Appreciate it. Why did I give you iron? I don't know, but you gave it to me, so it's too late now. So I was, yeah. I was thinking, I no, was thinking like no, a please, teapot. No, please, but please, 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 please move, move along. I've gotten That's three. Fine. So and then you said hot water. I gave you steam because steam is technically hot water, really hot water. You missed curling iron, curling. Ah, but why would you guess that? I don't know. Yeah, oven. You missed. I said stove. Okay, so that replaces iron. No, I got four now. Okay, fine, whatever. I feel confident. I'll give you four. Okay. I don't even know what my category is, but I'm confident. Matches will burn you. Yeah, that's true. Cigar. Embers. And not the restaurant. <laughs> um, a, a grill. And no, I'm hungry for a steak. <laughs> and eggs. Steak and eggs, yes, exactly. So I'm hungry for steak and eggs all of a sudden. Uh, a grill will burn you. And finally, a slide. A slide. slide. Yeah, you get you get one of yeah, the metal yeah. slides in, in July. Yeah, yes. Woo! It's a good one. Those yeah, that'll that'll warm your uh um the, the back of your knees sure. up real quick. You yeah. speaking from experience? I am. Did you were sliding the other day before we got snow or um I did not go down the slide. Okay. Uh, I did swing a little bit and then I was also the lava monster. So the busy, lava monster. Yeah, busy day at the playground. Wow. Uh, so we're going to go from the hot to the cold. Hot to the cold. All right, we'll see if I can heat up the scoreboard with round two of Say It or Sing It on Earth. Uh, not necessarily. Okay, coldest places. Um, Earth. Coldest planets in the solar system. Your office? <laughs> My that's office. Like, that's one of the coldest places. Yeah, oh, man. Get that no, that's usually, open. That's usually you, say, you say that to me, typically. Ah. All right. Uh, things in a freezer. Things in a freezer? Yes. Okay. In a normal person's home or a serial killer's? Um, I think that's a fair question. List. Look at this list. Uh, no body I parts? Think, I, think, I think you better open up your mind. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, the yes. song Ants Go Marching In is what uh, the loser will be singing. Uh, Ants Go Marching Ants In. Ants Go Marching In. Yeah. Ants Go Marching In. Ba -de -ba -do. Do that one. All right. We're, your 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 mind is warped. Let's go. Thirty seconds. Uh, things in a freezer: ice cream, ice cubes, pizza, frozen pizzas in a freezer. You're gonna find uh, leftovers. Lefsa uh, is the thing in a freezer. Lefsa. Yeah. Uh, well, a head. We'll just throw that out there. What? Uh, oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Popsicles. Uh, what? You're also gonna find uh, chicken nuggets, French fries, hot pockets. Um, other things in a freezer, uh, frozen concentrated juice. Oh, um, what else would be in there? That time. My, uh, exclamation there was because that gave you five. Woo! All right. Yes. I told you I was going to be hot, Bob. Got frozen juice. Yep. Got ice cream, ice cubes, frozen pizza and leftovers. Love it. You did not get frost. Oh, yeah. You did not get frozen waffles. Mm. You not get uh, frozen vegetables. Nope. Uh, even though this says meat, that is not a head. So okay, in your normal world, uh, and then bread. Okay. Bre oh, bread in the freezer. Yeah. Do you freeze your bread? Uh, I don't, but I, I know several people that do because it like an active loaf that they're eating. Well, I mean, it's or do you buy like several and then just put some in the freezer? Well, there's several different answers to this. Uh, you can buy like some frozen toast type bread and oh you know make it okay. Uh, some people you know don't go through a loaf like your family does through a very short period of time. Well, bread's delicious. Well, yeah. Some of us don't like consume a whole loaf within a period of time. Okay, that like you do. So, All right, Bob, you got to march on over here. Oh, do I? Oh, you do. Okay. Yep, ants go marching. One by one. Hurrah. 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 Ready? No. The ants, ants go marching, marching one, one by one. Hurrah. 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 The, the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. 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 The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb. They all go marching down to the ground. 
get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Continuing our month of March marching songs. What are we going to have to pull out of our hat for next week, Bob? <laughs> well, I have to tune in and find out. Coming up, Feel Good Friday, and uh, we're putting Bob's spelling to the test. Lady Gaga, Bloody Mary on Star 106. Fisher Friday, uh, Feel Good Friday as well, brought to you by Cabin Coffee Company. You can get uh, breakfast for lunch. You can get lunch for breakfast and delicious drinks all the time. Cabin Coffee Company. You did that without a script. I did. I'm amazed. Most things I don't have a script for. A rough outline? Yes. Scripts? You didn't have have a rough outline for that. No. No, that was, I just made that, literally made that up as the song was ending. I was watching you make that up. I'm just like... (laughs) Wow. Uh, Bob, Impressive. Anyway. Feel Good Friday. What you got? Well, how about those uh, Iowa Hawkeye women? Exciting stuff. Sweet 16. Oh, and that's tonight. Tonight. Okay. 6.15, the pregame. 6.30, the play-by-play on KGLOs. They take on the Buffaloes of Colorado. <coughs> Pardon me. Colorado. <laughs> of Colorado. Okay. Um, they're going to win, right? Should. Should. And then they play Sunday? They would play Sunday. Is that the Elite Eight or the Final That'd Four? That'd be the Elite Eight. Okay. And then Final Four would be... Next weekend. Next weekend. Has Iowa's women ever won a national championship? No, but they've been to the Final Four once. Okay. So this, it could be historic. Well, let's, the let's see what happens. Now, let's, if you're, not, if you're, let's not hex him. If you're Caitlin Clark and you win the national championship, do you come back? Or do you dip? You're like, I've, I've achieved it all. I'm going to the WNBA and I'm getting my money. I, if I was her, mm-hmm. I would come back. Come back. Okay. She's making a load in NIL money. Oh, so she's already getting paid. She's getting money already. Okay. Oh, so she's good. Okay. Uh, my Feel Good Friday, Bob. Uh, we had coaches meeting last night for uh, the soccer season, which is just just games. Supposedly, are, are, supposedly around the corner, even yeah. though it's you know, <laughs> snowing this week and everything. Yeah. Uh, but, no, I was super excited about that. So the, the Joe Show soccer team is making... It's uh, it's return for the spring season. Year two, uh, year three, year th- three or four. It's like well, because you get spring and fall season, so like season oh. number five or six for soccer. But sure. very very exciting. Happy to be coaching again. Happy to be sponsoring again uh, for Park and Rec Soccer. So wonderful. Uh, we we got some tactics this year, Bob. Tactics, tactics. Because because we're older. Yes. Because we're wiser. Let me just, uh, you, to, to anybody else, you know, any of the other coaches that may be listening right now, we're coming. <laughs> no mercy. These girls. Yeah, that sounds, that really sounds like Park and Rec soccer, folks, doesn't it? <laughs> these, these girls are all about scoring goals and taking names. We gonna, we gonna see the yellow card come out a lot, or I don't know. The, I don't. You know, you're what, making you're making it sound like the yellow card's coming. I out. should I should email Penny and uh, be like, is the, do the refs carry a yellow card? Because you might need it this season. Because oh, we're coming no, hard. Don't <laughs> say that. Don't say uh, that. no. No, we'll play fair. We'll teach them the right way. Right. Yeah. But no, I'm excited. It's it's fun, and uh, the best part is both my girls are on the same team, so that it's not. Oh, so you don't double have to, the double, amount yeah, of right, stuff. Right. Good. You know? So Good. As much as I love being involved with youth sports, you know, there becomes a point where it's like, oh, this is too much. Makes it a little easier. <laughs> so, uh, Bob, coming up. Yes. We're putting your spelling All right. to the test. These are the most commonly Googled words to try and figure out how to spell them. Can Bob do it without his phone? I'm saying that. So. I, yeah, I'm just, I'm buttering you up a I little believe, bit here. I believe I am. Yeah. I mean. Uh, what I have here, according to Google searches, these are the top words people can't spell. Okay. And Google is basically my spell check when I don't know how to spell a word. You just throw it into Google, boom, get the right answer. Hopefully. You know, you yes. got to trust it. So, first word, Bob, uh, this this um, gets Googled 95,000 times a month. People trying to make sure okay. that they spell it right. Restaurant. Restaurant. 
R E S T A U R A N T. Correct. Bob. Thank you. There we go. Pneumonia. Pneumonia. P N E U M O N I A. Correct, Bob. That's two for two. Appreciate. A P P R E. C-I-A-T-E. That is right. Uh, people often forget how many P's there are and if it's a C or an S. So, receipt. Receipt. R-E-C-E-I-P-T. Correct. Because it's uh, I before E except after C and sometimes sure. Y. Um, beautiful. B-A... No, no, I'll start over again. B-E-A... <laughs> B-E-A... B-E-A... <laughs> U T I F U L. Correct, correct. Nice. N I E C E. Oh, Bob, you're doing good. These are the most commonly misspelled words online. Maintenance. M A I N T E N A N C E. Correct. A lot of people forget where the A's right. and the E's go in that one. Bougie. What? Bougie. What is that? Uh, that's expensive. Something that's bougie. It's a word I've never heard. Like, so like I those, wanna, those I, fur boots are bougie. B-O-O-J-I-E. No, B-O-U-G-I-E. Bougie. It's a word I've never heard, so... That's all right. That's all right. Just do one wrong. Um, again, these are... are the, 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 this is your fault. For these words being on here, because not you, Bob, but I mean yeah, people. Right. This is your fault because you have to Google how to spell them. Diarrhea. Oh God. Uh, D i a h e r r i a. No. What I no. miss? D i a r r h e a. I. Didn't put too many. I didn't put enough R's in there. And you had the H before the R's. Gotcha. Yep. So, congratulations. That's the word. Thank That's you. the last word. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what did I win? That's the last word. Um, How do you spell congratulations? C-O-N. G-R-A. T. Uh, I can't think here. Congratulations. That's a, you know, that's a long word. It is a lot of Especially when you're trying to spell it. C-O-N-G-R-A-T-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-S. Congratulations, Thank Bob. You. Eight out of ten. How would you have done in the uh, Scripps National Spelling Bee had you entered? Well, I mean, obviously, if you missed diarrhea, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're out you're at that out point. At that point. And once again, the other word. Here's all I'll say, folks, on your on your social media posts. Yeah. If you're going to lose a game, it is not L-O-O-S-E. Lose a game? <laughs> you know how many people I've, at times I've seen, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah, they're going to lose. They're no, gonna... they're not going to lose. They're going to lose. Yeah. L-O-O-S-E. And stop abusing your apostrophes. Not every word that ends in S has an apostrophe. Only if it's possessive. Correct. And what about commas, Bob? What angers you about comma usage? Well, are you an Oxford comma guy or not? <laughs> I'm you have no clue I'm what I'm even talking a, about. I'm barely you a community no college comma guy, <laughs> let alone <laughs> Oxford. <laughs> there you go. Uh, coming up, Bob, should it be in your fridge? That's uh, next. Bob, where do you keep your peanut butter? In, in a jar. In a jar. That's yeah. A good Thank you. Place. Thank you very much. Good place to put Thank it. Thank you. Woo!
Woo! That's been Fisher Friday. Yep. Have a good Thanks one. So <laughs> See you next week. Best way to end the show. People will be like, wait, what? 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 What's yeah. this happened? So, um, <laughs> but do you do you refrigerate your peanut butter? I typically have not. Yeah, I didn't even know some that people was do. An yeah, option. yeah, some people do. I, I would. That would. I don't know what I would be more surprised by seeing peanut butter in somebody's fridge or the amount of mayo that Jared keeps in his fridge because it's a surprising amount of mayo. Um, but uh, peanut butter in the fridge, it's already thick. Like you don't need it thicker. But some people like it cold. Cold peanut butter? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Chunky? Or just creamy? Um, I think either. I mean, I don't think it matters the... Interesting. I would rather, rather, have, the, rather have it hot, you would think. Like some, hot as in what? Like you get... Like you're not heating up the peanut butter before you do stuff with it. I'm talking about like you get some fresh toast and you put the yeah, peanut butter on Yeah, but it's not there. hot. I mean, you're not like storing it... You're not like warming it up in the microwave before you put it on your toast. No. That's dirty in too many dishes, Bob. I can't be doing that. Know, whatever. But I mean, no, but some people like peanut butter cold. cold. Mm. 13% of it's people. like some people like ketchup. Gross. I know. You don't like ketchup. Gross. Um, 77% of people keep their butter in the fridge. I used to 23 be. 23% do not. Yeah, I used to be a butter in the fridge all the time guy. Now it's just the unactivated sticks of butter. That stay in the fridge. The unactivated sticks of butter. Yeah, the the uh, the unwrapped sticks of the butter. Unactivated. <laughs> Sounds like you're punching a time clock or something. The unactivated. Ooh, fancy. All right, butter, you're up. Is that bougie or whatever that, the word we were using in the last segment? Bougie butter. Bougie butter. But I have I have transitioned over to the other side where uh, counter butter is superior to refrigerator butter. So right. after you've activated yes. the butter stick, you keep it out on completely. the counter. Completely yeah. the whole rest of the until time. it's gone. Yep. So it could be weeks. It could be. It could be weeks. It could be weeks. But it's much easier to put on toast. Every, basically, it all comes down to how bad is this going to destroy my bread before I can get it in my mouth. <laughs> is what this comes down. It probably to. depends if you kept your bread in your freezer or not. No. Uh, now here's an interesting one: apples refrigerated or not? I put them in the refrigerator. You do cause, well because a cold apple is superior. To a room temperature like Some people think cold peanut butter yeah. is superior to, to the apple. Room temp. And then finally, maple syrup. Pantry uh, or fridge? Does it need to be refrigerated? I don't think it has to be. Because I, for the, As I, I mean, I, I could go either way on that. I mean, I, tip, I don't make. I don't make pancakes or waffles or any of that at home. So I never have any maple syrup at home. But uh, I honestly, I could live either way with that. I would prefer. I, I'm going to have to read the ingredients and just see. Like, is there something that could spoil in here? Because maple syrup there is is an absolute just disaster. Trying to get cold, thick, viscous maple syrup out of the bottle and onto your pancakes. Viscous, viscous, thick liquid. Man, we've used a lot of big <laughs> words today in today's Fisher Friday program. But I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to come back next week after this. <laughs> come on, it's yeah, too much. Back. I'll come back. Um, but no, I, I think about this: that like the the rate of syrup coming out of the bottle. Yeah, that's going to be increased if it's warmer. It's going to be less viscous. But some people like to warm up their maple syrup too. Yeah. Well, they have the overall. I mean, even if it's yeah, right. Yeah. Doesn't make so any I don't know. sense. I'm going to have to look into it and see because I think we could. Uh, well, we only have one bottle, I think, in there. That's a lot of extra room for beer. If you start getting the maple syrup out of there, if you start getting the peanut butter out of there. Uh, if you're at Jared's house, four jars of mayo out of there. I mean, I don't have any mayo in my fridge, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> All right, Bob, thank you. Are we done already? We are done. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of the mayo man, he's in next. Oh, wow. So, All right, toodles.